Today we're going to be taking a look at a brand new Chrome extension called PageAudit.com and this audit extension lets you take a look at your website, spy on your competition and see what you need to do to rank higher on Google. So let's just take a look here. So you can get this at PageAudit.com slash extension or click the link in the description and if you're on Instagram or TikTok there's going to be a link in my bio. So you can grab this extension. Um, add it to your browser. You need to be on desktop to do this um, or to use it. And basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna click add to Chrome. Very easy, you can see I already have it on here. There's over a thousand users, 57 ratings. That's the one page audit. So once that's added to Chrome, all you need to do is browse any website and then you'll see the PA up here, the, um, the extension. And you just click that It'll give you a quick look at your title tag, your meta description, you know, the URL of the page. There's a lot of plugins that do this, but we're going to get into something really special in a moment. Uh, it'll tell you the word count, how many images, how many links, the language, um, all, how many heading tags of each. And then if you go to headings, you can actually see what those heading tags are and you can see if they're in sequential order. Now I know my page is not in sequential order. It goes from H1 to H4 and then down to H3. That's okay. We're going to be taking a look at another page that is in sequential order. Um, so yeah, if you scroll down, you can see all the heading tags there and then keywords. So this is a brand new tab that no other Chrome extension has that makes auditing a website very, very easy. I use this now, my team uses this, um, and I spent a lot of money getting this developed to make SEO easier for you and for me and for my team. So for example, like this, you can see the keyword, um, section is on every one of these. So I'm going to say like, let's say I want this page to rank for digital marketing, right? I'm just going to put that in there, press enter, and then I'll be able to see how many times that keyword is being used on this page, as well as what the overall density is. Um, and then we can see, you know, I'm using it in the uh, title, in the title tag here, sorry, in the meta description and in the H1 tag. These are the three most important places to use the keyword besides actually in the content. Um, you need to use it in a variety of different places, but these are the most important places. And if you need more information, this, this does nothing. <laughs> Hovering over this does nothing, um, which is something I need to fix. So if you go back to overview with that keyword in there, you can actually click see full page audit and this will give you a little bit more information. So it'll grab the page that you're on as well as the keyword that you typed in and it'll tell you an overall SEO score. If your keywords used in those places, which the, the plugin does, um, the content, so it'll give you a readability score. This is based on the flesh reading score. Um, you know, all this kind of stuff here. Um, so if you're, if your content's a little bit hard to read, you might want to fix that. But in this case, like we are ranking number one for this keyword in our area. So I'm not too worried about the readability. Um, and sometimes the readability can be off regardless of what tool you use, um, based on the design, like oh, we have, um, you know, this stuff here that makes it maybe a little bit more confusing for um, like a score to analyze, but it makes sense as a human reading it. So that's one thing to always remember. You're not writing this to optimize for score necessarily. You're not writing this for AI. You're writing this content for a real human being who is going to, you know, potentially hire you or who's looking for answers. So we're going to go to the page audit, uh, dot com. Uh, which we got here just by coming to page audit and then clicking see full page audit here. And yeah, it'll give you a little bit more stats on all of these uh, keywords here. But one of the favorite, one of my favorite things is if you go to word density and click three word, you see like what keyword they're potentially optimizing for. It could be two word, it could be three word. So it looks like on this page that I'd be optimizing for search engine optimization website conversion optimization. I'm using that five times digital marketing services, four times category, local SEO, uh, engine optimization, Facebook. So some of these might not make sense because they're just grabbing the most occurrences of those three words. Um, like, and if we go to two word, we can see digital marketing that's being used 19 times, uh, growth marketing, search engine, optimize engine optimization. That doesn't make sense, but it's search engine optimization, which we could see here. Um, anyways, all the information is here. You can copy paste it. Um, it breaks down your readability score. So, um, passive voice, we have sentence length 
um, paragraph length, and then word complexity. We can see all like the, the most complex words here. Um, and if we go to metadata, this will just tell you your title tag, your meta description, and it looks like mine's too long, right? So it gives you a rule here. Uh, it should be between 50 and 160 characters. Um, and then this is the rest of the metadata. So like the Twitter card, the OG title, all that kind of stuff. You don't really need to bother with that, that stuff. Um, and then if you wanted to, you can add a competitor in here and it'll actually show you side to side how you do against your competitor. Um, but yeah, that is the Chrome extension. We use it every single day. Um, audits websites really quick, especially for a specific keyword. Like let's say, um, let's come down here. We'll go to a blog post. Um, we'll go organic versus paid search. This is the keyword that we're trying to rank for. Um, you could just come up here, click the extension, put organic versus paid search, and we'll see if it's used in all the right spots. So organic versus paid search, best strategy. It's in the title tag. Is it in the meta description? It's saying not found. So this is, this is something that happens when we're using different versions or variations of the keyword. So it might not look like we're using it in here, but we're using, um, you know, the difference in organic search versus paid search, right? So we're saying organic versus paid search as the main keyword, organic search versus paid search. That is a variation of the keyword that is okay to use. So you have to use your brain a little bit with, with any SEO, but specifically with this, like if you wanted to include the exact keyword in there, you could do that as well. But, semantic keywords or keyword variations also work. Um, and we're seeing that we use it four times. Keyword density is 0.15 times. Now, if I wanted to rank for this, um, what I would, this is what I would normally do. I would go to SEMrush, paste in the keyword up there, and I would see how many times it's being used. So make sure the country is set right. In this case, I wanna rank in the US. So 320 people are searching that per month. Keyword difficulty is easy at 27. Now we're just gonna look at the SERP rankings here. Um, we just published this, so of course we're not ranking yet. And if we go here to um, you know webfx.com, I, I usually might not go after that one because they have a good amount of backlinks, so it's gonna be hard to rank for that. So I might look at like geeksforgeeks.org because they have two backlinks, that's so gonna be a lot easier for me to rank, or even webflow.com. Um, so let's just open up this one. We're going to do the exact same thing here. So organic versus paid search. So they're not using the keyword anywhere on the page exactly like that. They're saying organic search versus paid search, and they're only using it one time, right? In that exact phrasing. Um, so they're not using it in any of these spots. But now if we wanted to, we could take a quick look. Oh my God, I hate all the ads on this page. Um, also, don't add ads to your site, especially if you're selling a product or service. It'll slow things down. You're not really going to make any money, and it's annoying for users. Um, difference between organic search and paid search. So I might say organic search and paid search and see how many times you're using that. So twice in this instance. And one thing that I do, you can use any keyword research tool for this. I'm just going to take that exact keyword, and I'm going to paste it into SEMrush or whatever keyword research tool. So we can see that this one's being used fewer times and it's actually harder to rank for than the other keyword. Um, so that might not be something that I want to go for and use that exact keyword myself. So you can see that this really speeds up the process a lot to see how many times they're using the keyword, what the word count on the pages, all that, all, all the information that you need to know. Like they have 1200 words on their page. What do we have on our page? We have 2600 words, which is a lot. Right, so this may be over-optimized, but since we just published this, we need to give it time. We usually like to give it a month or two to start indexing and see how it performs before we come back and do any changes. Um, one thing to check is like, make sure that there's internal links there. So we can see a yeah, free page audit tool is there, um, content analyzer, all this kind of stuff. And like, let's see if they're doing anything on their page in terms of internal linking. So they are internal linking to one other page on their site, they have all these stupid ads here, uh, which is just slowing things down. So I don't doubt that we could outrank these guys by creating a better piece of content. And the thing that I actually like that they're doing better than us is they have a table, right? So search results, they're comparing these directly. And I don't think we have a table on ours anywhere or like an infographic. We just have one graphic. Let's see. 
Yeah, so we're not comparing side to side. So that's a great opportunity. I'm looking at this and I'm like, we could create an infographic or we could create a table on this or both. And that would really help, uh, that would help us rank higher for this because it, it's showing people exactly what they need. Um, so what, why the difference matters. So yeah, anyways, that is how you use the plugin. Uh, thank you for watching. If you like this video, if you're still watching to the end of this video, hit subscribe, hit the like, leave a comment. Um, I wanna know, are you using this? Are you going to use it? Um, or what is your go-to SEO extension for Chrome? I would love to know. Bye.